So what is up guys welcome to HD Tech and Motivation YouTube channel and welcome to this new video. So guys as you saw today's title and thumbnail of today's video and that is the latest updates from the 2020 iPhone lineup. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about the display technology behind the 2020 iPhones. Is Apple opting for a smaller notch? Is Apple opting for a whole punch? Or is there going to be no notch and no, no bezel, you know, no thick bezel than the ordinary one? So guys, today's video is going to be very interesting. So if you like to stay updated from Apple's ecosystem, then consider subscribing to our channel. And without any further ado, let's get started. So guys, we all know that Apple is always innovating and is always revolutionizing the technology and everything. So guys, recently Apple's patents have been leaked by Apple Insider and you know, patently Apple. So that depicts that Apple is working behind a curved display. Okay, the display, fully curved display for an iPhone, you might see as a semicircle or how, you know, just it's pretty futuristic stuff. Again, Apple has its patent, but again, we don't know that will Apple opt for it. So in today's video I'm going to be discussing that what are the few rotations that Apple is going for. So according to few well reputed sources such as Venia Geskin and all of them, Apple is indeed working behind shrinking the notch prototype. They are working behind an iPhone with no notch, okay, all the facial recognition system is built into the bezel itself. The existing iPhone, the corner, the side bezel, the thickness it has, in that much thickness only, Apple will somehow or the, uh, somehow or the other manage to implement the face ID technology and that will solve the entire problem okay that will be the best super cycle refresh and let me tell you what is the super cycle refresh well if after every three years Apple tries to opt for another technology like in 2017 Apple opted for the iPhone 10 so from that time the display is same like the iPhone 10 you know the max version might have a little bigger but overall the change is there is no much drastic change again the refresh rate might be a little more increased but other than that, you know, just there is not a big, big difference. So with the next generation or with the um, upcoming generation of iPhones, Apple is going to be working behind a small shrink notch. Okay, Apple's notch, which many people feel kind of annoying, is going to be getting a way smaller according to a source. The other source say that Apple is opting for a hole punch. Or you can see a centric hole punch, which is going to be in the center of the display. And there's going to be just the place for the front camera and the other um, the leak or the prototype suggests that Apple is going for a in bezel facial recognition system. So guys, let me tell you, like if Apple will go for the in bezel variant, that will be incredible because like we have to wait every three years for Apple to change its uh, whole product design. And guys, this is the year. Okay, this is the super cycle refresh for 2021, 2022 and the 2020. We will have the same design. So Apple really needs to innovate a lot because they have to carry this technology for three years. And that stands true guys, if the 2020 iPhones are Going to be inspired from the iPhone 4 design that they are going to be a lot more skeuomorphic and easy to hold and not at all slippery and not just that Apple can manage to put a lot of things behind it. Again the A14 Bionic chip is going to be a 5 nanometer process chip by Apple. Again the 5G modem the X55 by Qualcomm is coming to the iPhone 2020. The iPhone 2020 is going to be having the dual layer PCB system which again nowadays iPhones still have. Again it is going to be getting better. And the, as the 5G is going to be coming with the 2020 iPhones, the battery indeed is going to be increasing significantly. So this is everything we know regarding the 2020 iPhone lineup. And let me tell you, every time we see leaks on top of leaks regarding Apple products, but again, when Apple introduces the product for itself, the, the, the product is very efficient and the overall looks are very gorgeous. If you take example of the current AirPods Pro, we are having its leaks and renders from years and now we have with this, this product and everybody is kind of loving it because you know every time the actual product is way better than we see in renders and leaks. So in today's video I just wanted to convey this fact that Apple indeed is working behind these three prototypes and let's hope for the best and let's hope that Apple will opt for an in bezel prototype because because it not only looks a bit futuristic but it will give you the true body ratio okay that will be like 95 plus percent display will be occupied in the whole iPhone so that is great to see 
And let's see what Apple has installed for us. If you like to stay updated from Apple's ecosystem, then consider subscribing to our channel and hope you have liked today's video. If you want to, if you like, if you want like this more videos on our channel, again guys, just leave a comment what that on which topic you want videos and what do you think with the 2020 iPhone lineup. So I will meet you with another beautiful video. Until then.